Hello and welcome to Clady Canopy, the show where I attempt to make just about everything from the ground up. And welcome to the Don't Wake the Dragon build series. vlog number six. This is going to be the last vlog before I go on winter break. Most of this footage is going to be me cranking away and getting things done. There is going to be a little bit of me talking you through the process of dealing with getting the rubber into the window parts. But beyond that, a lot of this is just cosmetic, getting the remainder of the holy fabric on, finishing up the fabric on the inside, a little bit of sanding here and there, maybe getting to painting the base. Hopefully we'll see. I've given myself two weeks to get the work done. It is the beginning of November. You probably will see this the first week of December. That's a little tight for me because I've been spending about two to three weeks each vlog for this fall vlogs. Anyhow, so I'm just going to roll the footage for now, get some stuff done. I got some nitpicky crap to get done. And then, well, I'll check back in with you when it comes time to getting to the window. Alright y'all, Sunday morning, having some breakfast. The finish line is close, at least close to where I feel comfortable enough to walk away from, you know, futzing with the dragon itself and start moving on to doing the other, you know, the little side projects and thinking about the meal that's gonna happen in here. And on that note, I spent the morning in the kitchen. There's my muffin, I made, made some muffins. Um, it's been pretty cold at night here. It's creating condensation on the exterior as well as the interior of the dragon. I'm really hoping that the condensation on the interior is only happening because the glass is not in and the door is still open. So while I was waiting for the temperature to heat up a bit, the sun to come out and for the walls to sort of dry up a bit. I was in the kitchen and I baked some blueberry protein muffins. It was a recipe Sarah had sent to me that she had found. And then the box of the gluten-free mix, baking mix that I used had a recipe for some biscuits. So I tried those out too. I'm thinking a lot about what kind of food I want to have in here. This is going to be a chill space. It's meant to be like, you know, a gamer's kind of thing. But when I was thinking about it, I was envisioning like some sort of English tea. So muffins, biscuits kind of fit into that. I think if I can tweak this a bit, this may be one of the recipes I do do for the final reveal thing, you know, when we get there. It's a little ways off, but I still am always thinking about these things and working on what's going to happen with the other parts. Um, I worked on the chess set that you'll be seeing footage of. I made a porcelain dragon inspired chess set. You'll see that. I've been stitching bingo balls. There, There's a lot that still happens when I'm not out here doing this. Pretty much my hands are always moving or always thinking about what could be used, what can be done to pull the environments that I make together. So yeah, kitchen day was nice. Kitchen morning, couple hours in the morning. Right now, the two things I want to tackle is at least getting the fabric on up and around where the frame is, but I am looking and I totally see a spot of black that I missed. The areas on the neck I hit yesterday, I ran out here, spent some time 
trying to hit these spots with white, but you can still see the black peeking through, so they need another coat. And then I also just noticed over in this corner, there's black, and that's the where I need to put that panel. If I leave that and the fabric is too light, it's gonna come through. So, new plan. Um, I thought I would be taking all of these. I spent time ironing all these rolls of the next round of, of um, the next round of bits. I'm like, can't even talk today. I'm so tired. I have the new batch. It's not all of them. There are still some spots that will be missing, but I had planned on tackling this fabric and the mesh to the outside of the frame, but it's looking like I'm going to have to regroup because I'm gonna first have to come in with some more white to white out those areas of the black. So I'm gonna do that first. I started gluing the rubber to the frames, the little extra frames that go into this window. I started gluing using the epoxy, and I did two of them. It was like a really big pain. I had to use these little clamps to hold it. It left impressions on the rubber, and I'm like trying to figure out there had to be a better way. It was really messy too. I just stepped away from it. When I feel like something isn't going quite right, I just step away. Later that night, I'm like, why couldn't I just spray 77 it? And so I looked up Super 77, if it was going to be water resistant. It is water resistant. It's not like water proof, but it's water resistant. I only need it to stick to the frame to be held in place enough when I cut to trim it. It's not that big of a deal and it's gonna make my life so much easier and I can move a hell of a lot faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that maybe while the white stuff is drying. Those are the things that need to happen. I need to get the mesh on before I can put in the rubber around the frame. I need to resolve the fabric that's closest to this frame so that way I don't drip extra resin over the glass and all that, that good stuff or on the rubber once that's set in place. Lots of endless talking, cause you know, what else? All right, I am going to go do stuff. Yeah, let's get on with getting on. All right, y'all, the white has set and um, the meshy stuff is on the outside. It's pretty set. I haven't cut out what's gonna be cut out yet. I left it for now just because it's actually helping screen in some of the sun, so it's not so bright. I don't think I've gone over the process I figured out that actually works the best for this, so I'm gonna do that now. Basically, what I figured out is if I tape this up just temporarily, Sort of in position over wherever this is gonna go. Hang on, hang on. I have to be careful with the tape because it is pulling away the edge, so I end up with frayaways fraying. But I like this method of, I pop this up here, I take my fabric marker and just mark the corners. And then I'm gonna take this over to my cutting mat and just cut this to size before I get it in here and stick it up. This seems to be one of the easiest ways of doing it, and it's easy if I leave the fabric, the, the backing, the paper backing to do the cutting and mopping this out until I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take that over there and cut that off. Ooh, it's gotten hot in here. I need a wardrobe change. Come on now. Problem with these angles. All of this area has been insanely tricky to get in here without burning my fingers. I do have a smaller tack iron, but it, it didn't work as well. The top coat of resin will do most of my holding. 
I just need to make sure I get all the wrinkles out and not create any. It's not as good as it's gonna get. Alrighty. And then this is the same process I've been doing. Apply the panel and then apply clear resin, epoxy resin over it. I have gone ahead and cut out all the mesh and then gave it a quick sand. It is now time to start applying this rubber. I have some little clamps here. I don't know if these are gonna work. Oh, maybe. So I bought black silicone caulk and it is going to be what my adhesive is for this rubber, mainly because silicone is not permanent. I want to be able to remove it in case any of this rubber needs to get replaced. Over time, I think this will be the thing that kind of wears the most would be the rubber. I'm gonna go ahead and use the silicone. What my plan is, is to get this kind of rigged up on here, up and around the frames. I have these little clampity clamps, sort of hold them in place if I need to. And then once I get it in position, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this gap in between here with the silicone, and then I should be good to go to install the glass. But this is gonna have to set at least 24 hours so that the silicone fully cures. The caulking is dry. There is a bit of funkiness happening on the exterior where some of these bits don't quite line up. So I gotta come out and like trim this. But I knew that was gonna be the case from the outside. It was just not as impossible to worry about the two different sides and getting them to match up. And I knew that there was gonna be some of this, but you know, my main goal is to make sure that I had things watertight, but I can come in here, trim them, and then kind of glue them down. I'll show you the inside. Oh, silicone is smooth to a point, but it can also look a bit messy. Um, you know, this is gonna be all hidden uh, behind the glass, so I'm not as worried about those areas. I wanna see what it looks like once the glass is in, and then I can deal with trimming. I'm not going to get the glass in in this vlog. There's one more thing I gotta do, which is to adhere the rubber to the frames that go on here. And this is the rubber stuff that it's fabric that has the rubber backing. So I need to spray 77 of these onto here, but this is gonna take some time, some tailoring to do all of this cutting. The applying of that rubber took a very long time around those frames, far longer than I thought it was gonna take. Unfortunately, that is bringing me to the end of this vlog where I'm not gonna be able to get all of this done quite yet. There is this funky haze that's happening over um, part of this dragon where you see this whiting out, but I have, I don't know why I totally forgot about this, the teak oil that is gonna go on here and it's going to, once the teak oil goes on, it'll bring back the shine. 
but that is something I have to do last because I don't want oil dripping downward onto the base of where I'm going to be painting. I am going to be calling this vlog here and then I'm going on my winter break. This is going to be the end of it until the new year for the remainder of this finishing up this finicky things, painting of the base, the getting the oil on, getting the glass installed, working out what the heck I'm going to do for the door and the cabinets. I want that to be just one final video, so I'm going to haul my behind the next two months to get all of this done and resolved to a finished point, and then I will just do it all in one grand review video. So we'll have a walkthrough of the completed structure. It will not include the internal parts because that's going to be the second phase of this build where I create the interior in terms of like, you know, the seat cushion slash mattressy things, all of the gaming stuff, the afternoon tea things and the items, just like I would do a normal environment. Those are going to be the next go round after this gets resolved. But um, I'm going to go on a much needed, much, much needed winter break here. I hope you enjoyed the progress of this project thus far. Please like, share and subscribe if you have not done so already. Stick around to watch this giant reveal coming to you in the new year. And remember, don't wake the dragon.